Hello to my beautiful knights and queens of the world. You already know who it is. It's Mr. Who? Royal Diamond, aka Mr. Nevis, coming back at you with another what, 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 phenomenal video. So, my topic today is going to be about express your love. You know, sometimes there's a lot of people who have so much love within themselves, but kind of afraid to express their love. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like it should go so deep and, and just within ourselves, loving ourselves. Loving other people, loving our friends and family, loved ones, loving the love of our life, our the, the our wife, our husband, our children, you know, our neighbor, you know, loving the things that are, you you know that you do or the gifts and talent God gave you, falling in love with those new gifts of that journey of growth, or your journey of becoming, your journey of expression, your journey of just finding your beauty even in the midst of your pain it's just love is it comes in so many different forms and for so many different things and i just feel like the world would be such such a better place if we was not afraid to show that we care show that we have compassion show that we love someone how many times we come across so many different people it, it only takes one second to be like hello how are you doing or you know god bless you and you know oh that you look incredible today oh my god and just expressing like just giving out that love in, in incredible amounts you know what i'm saying be, you're giving out life you're giving out hope you're giving out healing you're giving out restoration you're giving out faith you're giving out just beauty into existence into life into all around you when you begin to have a mindset of love and compassion and mercy the things that god has been teaching us all along you begin to see the world in such a more beautiful immaculate it's just ever breathtaking way you know what i'm saying you just begin to appreciate all the beauty around you you know you see people and it's just like there's just an over overwhelming joy of just expressing love to those around you you know unleash it unleash every ounce don't be afraid don't you know what i'm saying like especially when it comes to like if you like someone or if you want to be with someone we need to get get rid of the fear of like just being vulnerable being transparent because you know why that that just makes you beautiful understanding rejection or someone maybe not maybe inter interested in you understanding that that's just part of the growth because the more rejection you go through or the more no's you want to say it's just help build a greater tougher skin self-esteem you know what i'm saying it helps you grow your understanding you know that sometimes when we're, we're just like we're not going to be liked by everybody we're not gonna be attracted by everybody. We're not gonna attract to other people. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just learning to love and respect yourself, and learning to be fearless and letting people know you like them. You know, instead of doing all this extraness to get someone's attention, it's just like just be honest and transparent. What is the point of playing games? What is the point of lying? What is the point of deceiving people? You know, it's just like doing all of that. They're gonna notice that. And once they make an impression of you, then it depending what impression they form, it's going to either look at you in a good light or in a bad light. That's why transparency and honesty go such a long way. And there's also those people, when they really want someone, they're persistent in, you know, in trying to persuade the person or trying to, like, you know, talk to them. You know, like, they, they don't give up. And sometimes... People admire someone who, who is willing to fight for what they want, who is willing to fight for the love that they want, you know, because it makes that person feel wanted and loved. And it's like, wow, he's willing to do all of this and I keep playing games and I'm not going to give him a chance or give her a chance. Like what, what, what is keeping, you know, because you never know. You never know until you try. Why keep living your life in fear and allowing that illusion, the enemy, the world, to steal your joy and happiness, to steal the love that God has for you. You are worth it. You know? Even on the other hand, for people who have someone come up to them expressing how they feel about them, you know, if, if you're not into them, make sure that you're not being mean in, in your response or retaliation or anything like that. Someone's like, oh, you know, they like you. This goes for, like all across the board. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to straight, gay, bi, queer, transgender, blue, white, purple, yellow, you know, from Cuba to Colombia to Venezuela to Mexico, doesn't matter. 
if someone comes to you and they're expressing how they feel about you, right? And if you are interested and, and you are intrigued, then by all means, let them know. Don't be afraid. If someone, you know, you really like someone, they tell you, and the person you like likes you, but you're afraid to tell them you like them back. Don't, don't be afraid. Because then you might miss out on your love of your life. You know what I'm saying? And this is for people who actually feel that way. But for people who have someone who expressed interest in them, but they're not interested, just, you know, express to them, you know, in a kind way, like, oh, I'm not interested. I don't see you like that. You know, but encourage them as well. Like, listen, you will find the right one. You know what I'm saying? Just give it time. You, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes things just shape in different ways. Sometimes you may meet someone and it's like planting a seed, but that seed won't take fruit or grow until years later. You know, like all the love stories, you know what I'm saying? All the high school love stories and people reconnecting and reuniting. And it's just like, so good. It's just like, mm, you know, but that's what I mean. Like express your love and not only for someone else, but also for your family. Letting them know you care for them and you love them, you cherish them, building them up. Same thing for your children. If your children are hurting or you feel like they're sad or you feel like there's something not right or you're feeling yourself, make sure you talk to them, make sure you express love to them and you care for them and stop treating them like they're, they're disposable when they're not just because, you know, if you're too busy, you know, and you're working and all this other stuff and you can't make the time for your own children, you know, but you know, that's a whole different topic for another day. But um you know what I'm saying? And same thing, express your love for other people or for the elderly or for like the younger generation or express yourself in your own gifts and talent, you know, nourishing them, growing them, or expressing yourself, um or expressing your love for um, you know, your skills or the things that you're good at, coloring, drawing, painting, singing, dancing putting things together, things, things, taking things apart. If you can read really fast or really well, if you can, whatever that is, expressing your love. You express it by engaging in it, by showing appreciation, by nurturing, by protecting it, by growing it. But like I say in all my videos, I thank you, I love you, God bless you, comment, like, and subscribe. You already know, take the world by storm and always remember to express your love because love will conquer all and it will destroy every ounce of darkness. Until my next video, peace.